The trees are lit, the decorations out. The choirs are fully tuned. It's arguably the jolliest time of year. And at the center of much of that cheer, Hello. the man in the big red suit. Merry Christmas to y'all. <laughs> Wayne Brewer has been a professional Santa for four years, but he's entertained friends and family much longer than that. I've always loved children. I only have one myself, but outside of several thousands of elves, but um, it, it's just something to see the wonderment, the innocence in children's faces and eyes. It's a very rewarding experience. This year, he says his elves at the North Pole can hardly keep up with requests for him to visit. He's been booked solid for weeks, attending dozens of events like this tree lighting ceremony in Cedar Park, Texas. What are you hoping Santa brings you this year? It's a scribble scrubby. It's supposed to be like a little stuffed animal that you can like, well not really stuffy, it's like a hard plastic one and, it, and you can draw on it and erase it. Got that, Santa? There's an estimated 5,000 people who attended this tree lighting ceremony. And while not all of them made Santa's nice list, they should consider themselves lucky to have seen him at all. Because this year, there's just not enough Santa to go around. The demand this year is just through the roof. Mitch Allen from Hire Santa says demand is up 30% from last year and over 120% from pre-pandemic levels. As people start treating COVID more like the flu and retailers increasingly tie themselves to the Christmas brand. Are you turning people away? We're basically sold out across the country. So we are, we're having to tell people we're not able to provide a Santa this year. But it's interesting, so many more people this year are already booking for 2023. Allen says there are thousands of Santa vacancies across the U.S., a tight labor market hindering hiring, even though the six-week season can net Kris Kringle up to $12,000. I'm very proud of you helping mom around the house and all. Santa Wayne Brewer says he doesn't do it for the money. He's just grateful to share some love and joy with those kids already facing life's challenges. Maybe there's some little something I said or a pat on the back or told them that I believe in them and that they do have value, they do have self-worth, that maybe it got a little smile and gave them something that they can build on. Spreading the true meaning of Christmas, one believer at a time. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Cedar Park, Texas.